This is a very common practice where someone is trying to install a custom recovery and a custom ROM on their Samsung tablet and uh, they end up with a soft brick or a hard brick. Soft brick or hard brick is uh, a scenario where you end up downloading the wrong file or uh, you don't follow the right procedure and your device is stuck at a Samsung logo or uh, it's not even showing anything apart from uh, the bricked error message on your screen. So today's video is about how to restore your uh, tablet. No matter what tablet you have, uh, the process will remain the same. Today we have a Galaxy Tab A6 2016, which was currently running on Android 8. So what we are going to do is uh, we are going to restore this device back to its original factory operating system. And uh, for that, we will be needing a couple of things. Odin, I will add the link in the description. You can download from there. Uh, a stock firmware which will have uh, four files which we will flash on uh, this device or let's say if you have a tab S3, S4, tab A6, A7, A8, A9 or even A10 then you can flash them and uh, this should uh, come back to life. First of all we have to get to a SAM firmware website and in the search area we have to type uh, the model number for example today we are flashing uh, t580 which is a tab a6 that will bring up the result and in this section you can type the name of the country for example gb or uh, de or whatever so we will pick a german rom today then we'll scroll down and there we have a complete list of uh, all the operating system with their names so if we select this one let's uh, see what's inside so this one has uh, two files we will not need this this is a binary uh, os we don't need that we need a full operating system let's check on this one which has uh, the matching model number and uh, then we have this uh, download in browser link you don't have to sign in you can simply select this option and it will start the download process you can see the file size is 1.98 gb which is fair enough depending on your internet speed simple process might take between a minute up to three minutes if you have faster internet or wi-fi it will download this file fairly quick so now the next thing is we have to put the device into download mode by holding volume down button home button and power button at the same time this will put the device into download mode there you go and then we'll put it back on the holder we we'll press volume up button there you go and then we will uh, start the rest of the process uh, with uh, the Odin so we will uh, select those four files ap wait for the system to complete the process in some cases when the file is heavy the system will not be able to take it if you move anything in between once that is done we will move on to the next one which is bl then cp and then csc so once this is ready we will be able to so that's it checking md5 sum now we will add uh, BL, small file should be fairly quick, then CSC which is and finally the CP file. In some cases you may not see CP file but your CP file will be your uh, csc underscore oxx remember you have home OS or csc then you have csc oxs so you can add one of these files so i'll add that again csc here and inside the cp file you can add uh, the home cx and then click on start don't touch anything don't do anything you can see this uh, bar going forward it's a straightforward process and then you should be able to finish this uh, whole uh, flashing within a uh, matter of uh, two minutes or three minutes the max 
if you have larger file obviously that will take longer time but in uh, this particular model which we where we have samsung's galaxy tab a6 it should not take more than uh, a minute and a half or maximum two minutes so as you can see the bar is progressing it should stay green if it failed in between it will turn red and in this box you will be able to see failed one or successful one so we will wait for uh, the process to complete and uh, that's uh, going to end anytime now so remember guys don't touch anything in between leave everything open let it run through all the way to the end won't take long so you don't have to repeat the whole process if it's interrupted in between you might have to repeat the whole process again so there we go it's almost completing reset okay that's it now what it will do is it will restart the tablet and then we can go onto the home screen so everything is up and running and uh, we are on the main home screen with the samsung logo might take a couple of seconds before the first boot takes place the first boot always takes time so we'll do a quick fast forward so we can save some time in order to get to the main home screen uh, we have reduced that uh, 38 seconds to 7 seconds and uh, there you go finally the patience has paid off and it's uh, going to install uh, the basic apps and from there we should be able to take it to the main home screen there you go hola it's a german operating system and then we will do a quick uh, fast forward to save some time the device is going to the main home screen which means it's completely boot up ready to go you will definitely face some problem in order to flash uh, the stock firmware ask me in the comment section take care